What is going on guys, DBG, and today we are going to be building the best possible 50k squad in NBA 2K23, my team lads. So we built a 20k squad earlier and that squad was really good. And we're actually going to be starting off the 50k squad in the exact same way as we started off the 20k squad. Except some of these guys might not make the final, final like 10, now I might go 13 deep. So the cards that 2k give you for free literally hand hand you for free for logging in you don't need to do anything for our earl lloyd um wherever nat cliff wherever nat clifton is um the chuck earl lloyd chuck cooper nat clifton and uh, josh giddy you are handed these cards for logging in obviously you need to play a 121 point challenge which takes even the worst player in the world does that in two minutes so I'm not going to take that. Like, I'm not going to use any of the other cards, free cards. Or, sorry, these four and Carmelo Anthony. These uh, these five players. These five are given to you by 2K. So for the we have 50K to spend on the remaining eight players in our team, which is kind of wild, just considering how, uh, just how good these guys are. But I don't know if someone will make the, like, rotation. But for point guards, like, come on. If you guys know anything about these hero sets, we're taking Hito Turkoglu. We're taking Hito as one of our centers or as one of our point guards. So Hero is, Hito is probably coming in at 9,000 empty. And then we're also taking our Vitas. Who's coming in at 9,000 MT. So with 18,000 MT of our 50k. We have put in. One of the most best point guards in the game. In Hito Turkoglu. And at center. We have put in one of the best centers in the game. In our Vita Savos. So our team. Nat Cliff is definitely not going to play power forward. I don't even know if Nat Clifton is even going to make the squad on the bench, but still, that is what we have gotten so far. And then, I'm just going to take a look at what other guys I can use. Oh, so what am I talking about? Thurl. Hero Thurl is the most obvious player to use in a squad like this, and it's... Like, you would have to be crazy not to use a hero, uh, hero, Thurl, hero Thurl. A guy that might be a top 10 player in his position, might maybe be even top 5 small forward in the game. I know you can use, like, that's why Nat Clifton's not going to be in the rotation, unfortunately. As much as I like Nat Clifton, Nat Clifton's just going to be chilling on the end of the bench. And you're getting Thurl Bailey for, ah, uh, he's being price picked to 5k. Not the end of the world. I picked him for like 3.5k earlier, but I don't really mind that he's being price fixed. So, Nat Clifton, you got to the end of the bench. I found a replacement for you. And Thurl Bailey, it is a guy who was in my 20k squad as well. So again, this is what we've got so far. A really, really good lineup. And then for our centers, um, I think Peter Goodmanson is a is a really nice option here. Because he's 7'2 and can shoot the ball. There are not many guys in this game that are high Peter Goodmanson and can move like Peter Goodmanson and shoot the ball like Peter Goodmanson. He is a guy that you're spending 4,000 MT on. Like... Come on, you're not getting much better than someone like him, are you? So in at center is going to be Peter Goodmanson. So yes, yeah, so we've got a lot of size in our lineup. Once we can get that power forward position sorted, we've got a lot of size in the lineup. And the first player I'm going to put in is Mo Bamba. So I think Mo Bamba at the price that he is right now, like you're, you're looking at two and a half K for Mo Bamba, um, even either of the hero ones. I wouldn't go for the elemental Mobamba. I'd more so look towards the hero or the playoffs Mobamba. They're the same card. Like they're literally the same card. So plus two five hundred because that's what the playoffs one is going for. Like they're both the seventy and half badge ones. And like that sorts out the power forward position because Mobamba's got the length. Mobamba's got unbelievable length. He will play lanes really well. He'll hit jumpers. And he just gives you that bit of hype because of a 7-11 wingspan. He can compete, you know. He can compete with the likes of um, Taco and stuff. 
He really can. So right now we're at 29,000 streams. We've got 21k MT to go, and we have two player, we have three players to buy with that. So we can average out at 7,000 MT with these guys. So I'm thinking backup point guard. I'm thinking backup point guard Lance. One player I would have loved to get was Kevin Porter Jr. Kevin Porter Jr. would have been my like my perfect card. He would have been my perfect card, but he's that little bit expensive. He basically takes up the whole budget himself. It's just an unfortunate one that he does take up basically everything, and you can't search up lands by name. Uh, but at the end of the day, Lance does the job. Lance at 6750 will do the job as our backup point guard. If you look at Lance Stevenson's stats, there may as well be 99 everything. A 94 uh, 3 ball, 97 ball handle, 92 plus in every defense wise, 95 speed, 2 ball acceleration, 97 lateral with 35 hoffs. Like, he's in another dark matter in this squad. Like, the squad is looking. This squad is so nice, man. Like, we need a power forward, really? We need a power forward and probably like a, a small forward off the bench. I think I know who I'm going to use one of my guys off the bench. I'm going to use Scalabrini as one of my guys off the bench because if I want to run thorough a power forward, Scalabrini is like the perfect player to use. And I'm, I want to read one of his hero, Scal. Because I know, obviously, there's there's no hero versus a normal card. There is different hero, Scal. And it means we've got like 3,900 MT. Which gives us like 9,000 MT to fill, fill in, finish out the squad. Or do I? Or do I want another point guard? No, I use Scal. Scal and Nat Clifton are basically the same card, but still. still so 9k MT for a power forward. I literally just want a big center to place power forward. That is the only thing that I want, to be honest. Um, none of these guys are under nine. I mean, like. Could just use Gobert if I want really wanted to. I wish Gasol was on their nine. You know what? What price is Gasol? Uh, that is the big one. Because I can just scrap um I can just take if I can afford Marc Gasol, like I can just take Scal out of the team because he's the same guy as Nat Clifton. Like if Gasol is 14k or less. I am just yeah. Yeah. Like he's ten, he is ten k. Um, but Marcus all get into the team. One of the best power forwards in this entire game. Marcus all get into the team, and as much as I love Scal, I really do like Scal. Um, I got like three k MT. You know what? Actually, for ten thousand MT, I just realized I'm one hundred and fifty over fifty k. So yeah, let's just leave it at that. Let's just leave it with Scal in there. So this is our fifty k team. 50k team. Hito, Earl, Mello, Marcus All, and Sabonis. 50k team, lads. Holy crap. You've got one, two, three, four, five Dark Matters in there. I'll be a four of them are completely free, but still. A 50k team. Whereas a few days ago, Thorough cost on himself. That is crazy. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.